Oh, all right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is Master Fong, and it is time. Not the time just a few minutes ago where I started the stream but accidentally forgot to download the DLC. No, the time where we have it downloaded, and now we get to play it. What else can be said? For six months, I have been talking about the Elden Ring DLC. Shadows of the Earth Tree is finally here, and I am... I'm beyond words uh, when it comes to excitement. Welcome to the new place. Um, it, it took three days of driving. We are on the other side of the country, and it took a lot of help from a lot of friends. But we made the move. We're here. I am feeling so many things. Excited, terrified, uh, possibly might have a panic attack on stream. So good content. Stay tuned. But we're here now, and I'm, I'm ready to go. Um... Sorry if, I, if I'm if i a little scatterbrained. I'm sitting in a mound of boxes and chaos, and all of that is for another day. If my setup is a little janky today, if my camera's off, I'm sorry. The setup is still being set up. Ass cheeks clenched. All right, thank you, Lil Dancer. That is the proper mood. That 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 is the vibe we're going for, the clenching. Um... So here we are. We don't have AC in this new place, and that was my mistake. Uh, so I've got a giant fan in my face. I hope it doesn't affect the audio, but we will be getting an air conditioner installed at some point, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to just keep this place nice and comfortable. Oh boy, guys, guys, I, I, I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm beyond hyped. Um, so for those of you wondering, I've talked about this uh, to a great extent. I, I'm like, I don't know which character I'm gonna do the DLC with first. I was really, for the longest time, considering my mage. Oh, thank you, Lil Dancer. Uh, I was considering my mage. I've got so many characters here, and any one of them, you know, we could use to go and just balls to the wall, you know, come out swinging for the DLC. But I think I finally settled on Gilmet. Gilmet was my very first Elden Ring character, and actually my very first stream ever. My very first stream was an Elden Ring stream with Gilmet. So, I think it's only fitting that for the first stream in this new place and for the DLC here, we're gonna go back to the original, the OG. So we're gonna use my Great Shield, gigantic mace-wielding Gilman. I, uh, I started stream, but I realized I had only gotten the update to, like, the user interface. I had- I didn't actually get the DLC downloaded, so we took care of that. We're actually download- oh, look at that! Now there's actually a person here, wonderful! So we actually, we have the DLC downloaded, we're good to go. I'm gonna jump right on in with seven million runes in my pocket, add a little bit of tension, and I, I add some stakes to this. Um, I think I covered everything here. Uh, for our build, you know, Gilbert got a few extra things since the last time I used him. I've got some miracle buffs, I've got big boulder, um, and I'm using a spear with the Ash of War Spectral Lands, because that's one of my favorite Ash of Wars. And then we've got the Compensator. Just to, just to really get a nice clown persona going. But for the most part, I think I'm just going to use the big bonk and see how far we can get. Um, I hope you all enjoy. I hope the audio stays <laughs> consistent. It might, uh, there might be some delay on the visuals, but as long as you guys can hear everything being said and being played, I am A-OK -okay and ready to go. Let me just double check my stream settings. All right, I uh, I think we're ready, guys. I don't think there's anything else. There's no reason to stand on ceremony. There's nothing else to prepare or get ready. Oh, I am so excited. I am so unbelievably excited. Hello, new person. That's a nice, interesting set you got there. Very hailing tree. I like that hat, too. That that helmet reminds me of Wilhelm's helmet from Dark Souls 3. Speaking of, we just fit in anticipation of the DLC... Uh, we just finished uh, a Dark Souls 3 run, and Dark Souls 3 spoiled me. So I think I'm going to get my cheeks clapped. I'm going to get my shit rocked a bit. Because Dark Souls 3, going back, I realized how, how kind of much easier it was to anticipate enemy movement than in this game. So now we're coming back to Elden Ring, and I think I'm going to get uh, demolished. Touch the withered arm. Now let's talk to this guy first. All right, hello new NPC. Hit us with that chocolate voice acting. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? No. I am Leda. Welcome in, Mark. 
I was guided by faith along his honorable path. Leda. Touch okay. the withered arm. And you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. <laughs> like us, mm. they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. So here's something that I've done. Here's a, a, a premonition, if you will. I have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. Oh boy. We'll pop it off here. Oh, Monk. Monk, thank you for the gifted tier one. Thank you for the second gifted tier. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Hang on. Jesus fucking Christ, Monk. What the fuck's going on here, man? Good God. We're a <laughs> level three hype train. My man. So, and, and thank you for the tier three resub. Happy 25 months to you, sir. The 400 bits. And the five tier one gifted subs, Monk. Always always and forever a real one here. I, I don't know what to say, man. Thank you. It's going to be a good time. You know, regardless of anything that happens, the DLC's here, and this is all I've waited for. Um, so quick... Uh, hi, love. Hi, Mark. Uh, so quick... Um, uh, prediction here. There, there's a few things I've been thinking about as far as this DLC is considered. Um, the, the, the first promotional material we got, the first images, the trailers, it's all been about Mesmer, right? And it's all like, oh yeah, Mikola came this way, and, and, and Mikola did this, and Mikola sacrificed that, but it's all about Mesmer, right? Mesmer is being poster child as like the main event of this DLC. But if you guys will recall, one of the first lines in the first trailers we got was a guy talking about Mikola and how he said Mikola could compel one's affections and nothing was more terrifying. Everyone is calling him Kindly Mikola. Everyone's like, ah, you're following Kindly Mikola. You want to help Mikola? You head to the land. We're all waiting for Mikola. Mikola, Mikola, Mikola. Mikola, Mikola, Mikola. I, I am not convinced. Uh, whether or not he's a boss, I do believe Mikola is a a ominous force, a, a not benevolent. I think uh, I think Mikola. Th the fact that Mikola, it's it's a terrifying, terrifying ability to make people love you, because it goes beyond mere brainwashing. If you can make somebody love you. Like, you can make them do whatever you want. You can make them kill their parents for you. You can make them burn their house down for you. Like, Mikola's power, I think, is too powerful to, to not corrupt one's judgment. To just make everybody worship you. And uh, so, I, so I'm calling it now. I think we're going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mikola. We're going to say. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. I, I am, I want to, I want to bop her in the face, but I'm not going to kill anyone. Come now. I will not be. May we meet again. All right. Well, nothing else to do. No standing on ceremony. Let's, uh, let's caress this, mm, this tasty withered arm that, uh, Moog has been spooning for the past thousand years. Head to the realm of shadows? Uh, no, I, I'm really not feeling it. I think we should just hang back. Maybe do some more. Yes! Oh, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. Monk, I'm beside myself, man. Thank you so much. That, uh... And just like that, we are... The light's shifting. Right, let's go to the map here. Oh, they're zooming out twice. <laughs> All right, so we've got a tiny little, that might be a map marker. And we're here on this barren coast. Oh, FromSoft, you've already outdone yourself. Masterpiece, 10 out of 10. That's it, that's all we needed. Following Mikola's path into the shadowy realm for whatever reason, all the secrets will be ours. All the revelations. All right, here we go. We got the... Ah, oh, it's the smell of adventure. No. Oh, just show it and we're even. <laughs> we already... All right, we can already get Torrent. And we immediately f come to our first grace, the Gravesite Plain. It 
It's it's all new, guys. It's all new. Ooh, there's a moon up there. Yeah, I mean, of course, we've seen the shadowy tree so many times now. And thanks to Monkfish Filet, we have received the level 2 hype trade emote. <laughs> Thank you, Monk. All right, as always, guys, let me know if the audio gets screwy, if things change or get messed up. I'll do my best to fix it up. Oh, let's share that. Yeah, I know we're going to share that. And I think we'll just... Boop! There we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. <sighs> All right. So please bear with me if I'm not as quick-witted or ex like uh, as fast-paced as I normally am. I really want to take my time and enjoy this. We've been waiting. We've been waiting for this. And I don't want to... I don't want to focus... Uh, oh. Uh, mm. All right, so we saw in the promotionals that the Wicker Man was close. So, so there's that that guy. I could ride out there and just start trying to clap them cheeks. Let's see here. Yeah, I came in with seven pickled foul feet, and I've got my golden thing. Let's let's hit the grace. Maybe take a rest. See if somebody speaks with us. Nice giant tower. I'm all about big towers. I mean, I, we're, we're gonna be exploring all of this, and I just I. I'm so speechless, I'm babbling like a fool. <laughs> All right, everything is the show. Here we go. So this is the new mechanic they mentioned, the Shadow Realm Blessing. Skadu Tree Blessing Zero, Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Consume Skadu Tree Fragments to bolster your Skadu Tree Blessing. The Skadu Tree Blessing bolsters the recipient's abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the normal shadow. So there we go. Uh, even though I'm level 300 whatever, or 200 with Gilman, and our stats are huge, I mean, they mentioned this uh, many times, but if you didn't hear about it, this is a system that basically allows our late game characters to feel like little weak baby characters. Which means that the Shadow Realm should clap our cheeks, regardless of our, our level and our gear. Uh, use the Scalda Tree Frag. Yeah, I don't, I don't have one of those, so. All right. And the. Okay, consume the Revered Spirit Ash to bolster your Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Revered Spirit Ash Blessing bolsters both Summon Spirits and Spectral Steeds' ability to deal and negate damage, but has no. Okay, so uh, we're looking for these things to bolster ourselves and not be weak little babies in the Shadow Realms. Okay. Okay. And there's nothing else in the menu. All right. They're, they just threw us in. And I love that. I love that FromSoft approach. It's like, deep in, bitch, swim. Fly, bitch, fly. Put my shield away so we can just ride Torn proper. I don't, I don't even know where to go first, you know? Uh, honor dictates that I run over there and try and take that thing on immediately. Get my cheeks clapped. Make the content. I, th that whole town is shrouded. Let's head over here. It's the closest thing. <laughs> oh, hello! You look like a more pure aspect of the Crucible. <laughs> look at that! It's like a medium-sized bird. I want to see how much this hurts me. Not that much, actually. How much do I hurt you? Oh, baby. Oh, dear. Shadows of the Erd Tree. Two smithing stone fours? Wow. I said this when we were going through Dark Souls 3. I said, typically, the DLCs just dump upgrade material on you. And uh, our first our first kill gave us two smithing stone fours just because. I did say the wicker man, Monk. He's out there. I mean, he might be made a wicker or something else, but he's a giant burning cage filled, I think, with dead bodies. He was big in the promotionals. Let me up. Let me up! I want to stand on the grave and desecrate its likeness. Praise the lever. Ah, uh, edge. Yeah, all right, so we're immediately beset with sexual references in our messages. It wouldn't be in this game if if it, uh, yeah. Sliver of meat, thin beast bones. These guys are pretty similar. These trees are gnarly. Give them some twisted trees. Oh, 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 you think you can escape, do you? Uh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, our big bapping stick did destroy that first enemy. That's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, is that something new? The Rada fruit. Like the Radon fruit? Eh? Where was the section they said? They said they added a new item section to, like, recently acquired. Bolstering key item sources in Kanish of War melee armaments. Am I fool? Am I great fool? They, I know that they said they added it. It was a recently acquired section. That's fine. We'll just we'll just look for it. I imagine it's in crafting material. Okay, we got one golden room. There we are. Berry-like fruit that grows into spirit grave grass. Material used for crafting. Easily found everywhere in the realm of shadow, though its bitter taste makes it unsuitable for consumption by humans. Material used for crafting. Lovely! Lovely! If you're just joining, uh, welcome in. My name's Master Fong. Obviously, this is the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. Uh, we're jumping in just like everybody else who's playing this and watching this right now. I'm gonna move at, uh... Not a quick pace, because I really want to sit and enjoy this. Just these massive fields of spirit graves. And those peacock birds perched on every statue. We'll probably um, head, head to Shroud Town. I mean, that seems smart. Uh... <laughs> Spectral Lance. O-P-A-F. You got a grab attack? Oh no. Oh, someone don't like it poked. Hmm. Alright, so I think, yeah, that's uh that's about where we came from. We headed over to the gnarled trees. Yeah, let's let's go to let's go to Shroud Town. Oh! Well, you just look like trash bag hollows, but you're solid black and carrying sacks. Are you neutral until aggroed? Nope! You're angry. What happens if you hit me? You got any status effects? Nah, just just some just some face tanking. Ah, uh, Le Great Shield! She is impenetrable, no? White flesh mushroom. Man, these enemies are all little bitch babies. They're just a bunch of little bitch babies. Yeah, we got two and two. Okay. Scorched ruins. So the lore that we know is that... Ooh, the black py pyrefly. So what we know is that uh, Mesmer led a graceless crusade here. And that he basically torched everyone. Milky white mushroom that grows in sullen lands. Easily found everywhere. The flesh of the mushroom is similar to raw meat and can serve as pot innards. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna find mushroom pots. Now, what else did we just pick up? Uh... Oh, right, the pyrefly. Firefly, fiery butterfly with black cinder wings flies in war-torn lands that have been scoured by Mesmer's flame. They burn in dark and slender ribbons of fire. Too much. Uh, do you mind if I keep crossing? No, sweetheart, go right ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> the red flesh mushroom! Oh, because that was under crab. I'm like, why was that grayed out? No different, just red. All right. Oh, wait a second. Aha! There we go. Let's go pick up the map. So they're basically the hollows, but they're shadowy. All right, give me, give me my fragment. The gravesite plane. 
Swoosh! Okay. So yeah, we entered in this little chasmy area. We saw that up on the hill. So we've got a road down to potentially a legacy dungeon. Scorch runes, a bridge that leads to another town. Ah, we've got a we've got a walled city over here. I think that's Mesmer's city with the thorns. Oh god. It's just too much excitement. It's too I'm so excited. Greetings, denizens of the Shadow Realm! It is I, your Elden Lord! Gracious conqueror and dealer of justice and mercy! Yes, fade away into nothingness. Broken rune? <laughs> oh, sorry, my, con I'm, I'm, my controls are all fidgety. I'm still in Dark Souls 3 mindset. Broken rune? I want to I wanna look at that. I want to know what that is. Golden traces of the grace bestowed upon those who fell in the realm of shadow used to gain 500 runes. Broken and faded, threatening to dissipate entirely. Oh, okay, not much difference there, just something new. I can't... Are you, are you, go into the tree? Hello, hanging tree! You gonna, you gonna drop bodies on me? You're gonna, you're gonna hit me with some... Oh! Uh, it's just a, You are disturbing the hanging tree! Can't lock onto them. See if we can knock them down. Nope. Alright! Decoration. Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to play this DLC myself. Yeah, yeah, I understand. No, it's it's interesting. I uh, I fully, I already mentioned on Discord, I was like, guys, I get it if you don't want to watch me stream, because I, I wouldn't want to watch me stream either if I was planning on playing this. I mean, you can't, you can't get spoilers for these games. You gotta experience them. So if you're here with me today, thank you so much. And uh, if you only want to watch up until areas you've already seen, I completely get that too. We're up to five whole people. Hello and welcome. My name is Master Fong, and uh, like every other person on planet Earth right now, welcome to the Shadows of the Erd Tree DLC for Elden Ring. I'm going slow, so uh, sorry if that might seem a little boring or if you're tense and, and impatient for me to go get my cheeks clapped by all the horrible things in this place, but I'm just taking it all in because just I'm just taking it all in. I, I am... I am so unbelievably excited. I am so impossibly excited to finally be here. I'm really liking the ambient music. Hello, peasants, tis I, the Elden Lord. Don't worry, you don't need to give me your tithes. I'll just take them from you. See, it's, it's funny, like, we can actually say that. Since all of my characters have beat the game, here we are. Hey, yo, Beige! How you doing, Mr. Beige Curtains? Baze, we're back in Pennsylvania. Just uh, just finished a three-day massive move. I am all over the place. I'm excited. I'm terrified. There might be some panic attacks on stream. So if that's your type of content, here we are. Monkfish Filet got a hype train going. That that really made me feel something. Like, uh, that made me feel special. And now we're here. We're here with my very first Elden Ring character. My very first streamed video game. Uh, and yes, it is going to be hot cot, Beige. Talk to me. Everyone burned to cinders, burned away. Put to the torch by Mesmer and his lot. Ew, I hope we get to kill his lot. What did we do to deserve such a fate? That's the question, isn't it? Why did Merica? We merely lived our lives. We lived in peace. Oh, no, 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 we can't have, we can't have peace in a FromSoft game. No, 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 no. Oh, you sweet summer spirit. Yeah, so like, why? Why did Merica send Mesmer here to torch this place? Those are, those are the questions. Ah, 
I, I, I do. I, I am. I, I want to slowly explore and expand, but like I'm looking at that guy, and he's really begging me to take him on immediately, and for me to get destroyed. Let me look through these scorched ruins, and we'll go from there. Y'all, uh, are y'all in me? Y'all angry? Y'all gonna try and get through my great shield? I'll give you the first attack. There you go. All right, you saw it. This is all self-defense. Get fucked. All right, we got jump attacks again. Been playing so much Dark Souls 3. What do you got for me? This rot of fruit. Everyone's praying. <laughs> that didn't stop me from murdering them in the lands between. It ain't gonna stop me from murdering them here. Okay, yeah, this... <laughs> I'm literally decked out in gold with, with an immaculate shield twice the size of God and a mace the size of a mountain. I'm literally coming into this... It, basically, it's like a refugee town. <laughs> and I'm causing further suffering. So this is interesting. Instead of the rune arcs, we see horns. That's very aspect of the crucible for them to be using horns as grave markers. Bonk! Okay, let's do some compensating. Aha! Aha! The hefty cracked pot! Oh! Really? Who throws a rock, honestly? Guy, do you not see what I'm- Do you not see the shield? It's a wall! It's thicker than your city's walls! Um, again with the rocks. Alright, I'll show you some rocks. Actually, <laughs> Oh, you want to throw rock? No throw rock, throw boulder! Very good. That is how you throw a rock. Not resin. Oh, well, apparently it's not resin. That might be the worst dad joke I ever made. If someone can tell me uh, where the menu is. They, they just added a menu segment for recently found items, so instead of scrolling through all this, I should be able to just find that item. But, like, is it a sort feature? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Order of acquisition, maybe? Yeah, but the resin would be here. Yeah, there's root resin. I just got the not resin. Mm. All right, not resin. Serves as a primitive catalyst, making it suitable for processing using sorceries, incantations, and the like. Suitable for processing? Wait, is this like, is this like Dark Souls 2? Is this... Is this, uh, they had the, what was it? It was the ability to incense. You could use items in Dark Souls 2 to take the intelligence and, like, faith requirements of spells, and you could lower them so you could use them earlier. The roots of trees, materials of craft, finding your tree roots everywhere in the realm of shadows. That's fascinating. It could be anything, really, but not resin. Exactly, Beige, exactly. I've decided the spirit I'm going to mostly use here is Clean Rot Knight Finley, because I feel like his sister's main girl is Finley. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I, uh, with Gilmit, I always use Stormhawk Dean just because he really fucks up, uh, pathfinding for enemies and he buffs my melee and that's who I am. I'm Big Strong. If you, if you couldn't tell, we're Big Strong user. The Greater Potentate's Cookbook. Oh, cool. He can actually find a, uh, potentate here. All right. Where are me recipes? Where did I put me recipe books? No, these are the notes. I probably should have, uh, realigned myself. Key items, I think. Oh, while well, we're at it. The hefty cracked pot. Container required for crafting hefty cracked pot items. This hefty empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Essential vessel for crafting hefty craft pot items. Materials and magic sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. The greater potentates of Bonnie Village craft these and store them in a frozen jail. Okay, we got ourselves a greater pot. 
And the, I'm guessing they'll be at the bottom here. Greater Potentate's Cookbook. A record of crafting techniques of the Greater Potentate who roams lands near and far. Haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth, he stuffed great pots with all manner of things. Acquire the knowledge to craft a hefty fire pot. I don't need that shit. I throw spears. I throw spears and boulders. I don't need to throw pots. I mean, I got a couple pots. I think I got freezing pots for Melania. Black Pyrefly. Oh, hello! Don't you dare throw rocks at my horse! Well, this is the Scorched Village. I wonder if it's also Bonnie Village, or we might find Bonnie Village later. Sounds like Bonnie Village is known for some grotesquerie, and I is excited! Oh, Christ! Oh, dear fucking God, let it die! Why? Why did we come back to this? We could have done better! We have to do better as a species! Really? We're back to you don't have the right, oh, you don't have the right, by the way, you don't have the right, oh, you don't have the right, oh, and there's 1,600 appraisals! What is wrong with you people? I, I, I am ashamed. I am ashamed of the Dark Souls from Soft Community. Okay, seek not here. Why? This is a good view. Look at the beauty. Look at the majesty. We came from that crack in the rock. Yeah, these shadowy figures. <laughs> Could this be a shadow? <laughs> uh huh. In the land of shadows, like you know. Do you get it? Like maybe we're the shadow. Maybe man is the shadow. Thankfully, we can still vandalize. We wouldn't be Elden Lord if we couldn't vandalize. And no tri-finger butthole message. All right, there's, 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 there's some improvement. Sometimes we learn. Oh, Shadow Pup! Whoa, Shadow Pup taking my mace to the face and not flinching. Okay. At least they have actual doors here, unlike the capital where they just like. Corpse waxed everything? Guys, I get it. You're not hostile, but you have the chance to drop items, and so, bye bye <laughs> Liar! No, yeah. I knew that was fake the second I read the message, but... You always gotta try. Uh, do we want to head over to Woodpecker Fields and kill some birds? I think so. I want to get to the top of these ruins quick, though. Looked like there might have been something up there. Oh, that's, that's a, a gravestone. Useless peasantry. Oh, we got a grace. Okay. Broken runes. Broken runes. All right, let's light this candle. There were some shadowy figures over here I'd like to murder. Uh, hey, can you tell me about the history of this particular hanging tree? I know. And? All your resentment lingers yet. The raw stuff from which I shall surely forge a curse upon the dastard Mesmer's head, upon Marika's children, each and all. Yeah, these lands got fucked up. This, this was a genocide. This was a genocide, and uh, the big question is why. First off, don't give up. <laughs> That's the spirit. I'm waiting for like, oh, you look a little bigger. You look like a slightly bigger shadow, man. Didn't matter, it didn't save you in the end. All will fall to the big bonk. Ooh, that one's got a pot. I think even a hefty pot. Kuklunk. I've come for your pots. Did he disappear? All right. Oh, goddamn. Them souls, them souls got some smack to them. Take care of you first. 
I'll give you guys a good poking. That projectile speed leaves a bit to be desired, huh? Poke! I think... Spirit Gravestone. I think Big Pot Guy disappeared. Time for gesturing. Okay. I'm gonna say that's probably a key item. Mm, tis not. Tis not. Spirit grave stone. Mm, is it in the info? Surely it's not a relic. No. All right, we missed it. Let's 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 run the gamut. Should only have one. There it is. A piece of gravestone that started to turn into a spirit. Material used for crafting. Mainly found on the graveside plane. In places to where the dead have been brought since antiquity. The oldest gravestones turn into spirits and then fade away. <laughs> You're my key item. Thanks, babe. <laughs> uh, I might rest at the grave. Just so I can come back here. See if we can get uh, Big Pot Man to respawn. Black Pyrefly. I know a lot of this in the beginning is just going to be the new upgrade material. Nothing too important. Dear! I am so excited to come here with my mage. We are going to fuck shit up. Mm. You there, peasants. Have you paid the traveling tariff? Yes, as your new lord... I am issuing a decree. All travelers must pay the spiritual tariff upon entrance into my domain. In other words, get fucked royally. Yeah, these sprawling spirit plane graves or something. Oh. Over to this waterfall. Really? No special shadowy eagles? This DLC's garbage. I paid $40 for this? Withered and twisted statue? Co corpse? The revered spirit ash blessing. There we go. Revered spirit ash can be found across the realm of shadow. Consume this ash at sites of grace to bolster your revered spirit ash blessing. Bolsters summon spirits and spectral steeds ability to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside. Okay. Uh, so that's our first upgrade material. I'm not going to spend it though. I'm going to see how far I can go without spending those things and uh, see just how hard my shit gets rocked. All right. Well, we got interesting things to explore down there. You got the other one? Yeah, I, I saw that there were two when I sat down at the grace. It's a little dark in my Shadowlands for my liking. I'm gonna go sleep, or, you know, past time. I don't suppose Potman came back. Yeah, I wanna get up there. See if I can. This shit's dark. This shit's really dark. 
Okay, let's go to this top again and, and take a look over there and see if it's actually worth trying to get up to. Yeah, it's probably just a broken door we can't get in. But the lights, the lights call to me. Like a moth to flam. Mmm. If I wanted to get up there, I'd have to get on this roof. Uh, oh, well, there is something over there. Like, y'all, is it just me, or is it, like, really dark out? That didn't help at all! I'm gonna rest until daytime. For call or finger remedy, I mean, I already own those. I'm Elgin Lord, uh, I have him for calling finger remedy. Wham! Ow. Alright, that's a pretty uh, impressive rock you threw there. I will give it to you. Oh, okay, here we go. So there was a natural path. I mean, clearly, Wicker Man is like, come at me, bro. He's right there and looking for a fight. And I'm carrying seven million runes that say I'm gonna be A-OK. -okay. Oh, this door doesn't look barred. Oh! Okay. Don't do it. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, treasure chest. Just little out, man. Oh, surely this isn't a trap. Praise the message and then di God! Oh, my God! This game has been out for like two years and people are still doing these fucking cringe messages. Praise the message and then didn't expect secret and 2,819 people fell for it! I just, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get ready to roll away. No, okay, we actually get treasure. The Blade of Mercy. Is that our first weapon? It is not. All right. What is it? What are you? What secrets do you hold? Oh, it's a, it's a talisman. Raises attack power after each critical hit. A thin bloodstained dagger, no longer fit for use. Horn Scent employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger's now broken, but has acquired a spectral aura. Horn Scent, all right, interesting. All right, let's take a quick little rest to poo over at the Grace. And let's pass time. Uh, yeah, I'll do it later. Let's pass time till the crack of noon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, much better. I can see myself think. Okay. Yep, there's Big Pot Man. Big Pot Man, what secrets do you hold? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Do you have an eye made of cotton? Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Ah! The hordes! The hordes! I will wombo your world. Let's get that straight right now. Okay, no, I, I don't want to deal with you. I just want to see here. Oh, the scar tree blessing. Fragments can be found. Blah, 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 blah. Consume them. Deal damage. Silver horn tender. Okay, big pot guys are worth killing. Big pot guys got the things. Noted. 
Was that another relic we just got? Silver horn tender. We got our personal upgrade material and then whatever a silver horn tender is. boosts item discovery. Old currency used by horn set made by coating spiral horns with silver. Can also be sold for a high price. These trinkets are once symbolic of society's upper echelons. Alright. Dope. Let me get over to this smattering of runes and uh, smack these birds in the face. There are a few birds over here that were giving me the stink eye and they need to know their place. Thine Elden Lord has come. Man, y'all really don't like getting smacked out of the air. Oops. Poke, poke, poke. Out of my way, sheep. I got business. Right in the toe. Oh, all right, there's a few of them over there. Fly, bitch, fly! <laughs> Spectral ads is so much fun. <laughs> Man, they are giving me back Estes. Left, right, front, center. Huh? Okay. We've got some spirit worms. Let me kill the rest of the birds first. Get down here right this instant, young man. <laughs> Honk. Oh, that looked painful. shadowy spirity glowing worms what uh, what do you got okay so they seem neutral for now look at their tiny little arms oh man that's horrifying okay good 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 what are you guys, uh, what are you guys blocking up here? This looks important. Oh, there we go. I probably might have missed one of these, but we've got a summoning gate. Poke em, you won't, pussy? Why, why, why you gotta do that, Gerg? Why, why, why you gotta force me to engage in the contest? Woohoo! Look at them all! Oh, they're so angry and swollen! They went from being spirit, spirity glowworms to diseased penises! Uh huh. I just remembered something, glowworms. Wow! That did a lot of stamina damage. Holy shit! I can, I can, uh, I can shield counter in this game. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Every, everything. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they're strong. Oh, 
much am I getting for these? A thousand? Yeah. Broken runes. Okay. <laughs> mm, doesn't look like there's a whole lot back here. Oh, wait. There might be something on that ledge. Oh, you look like an older goat. Look at those horns! Look at those majestic horns! Look how they bleed! Thin beast bones, but nothing more. Nothing more. All right, let's uh, let's see what this little thing's about. Western Nameless Mausoleum. Hmm. What's, uh, I got Twiggy Cracked and Green Burst. Okay, this is good. So if I die, I've at least got Twiggy Cracked ready to go. <gasps> okay! Black Jail Knight. You look like an NPC. That probably killed a lot of people. Unfortunately for you, look at shield. Come on, show me what you got. Guard counter! And whoopin' and whoopin' and whoopin'. That's a pretty cool set of armor you got. All right, they got some sick ashes of war going on. One hits roughly half my health. Cause, cause I am a weak little baby bitch boy. We, we don't have our upgrades. I will womp you into the ground. You have no idea what's coming for you. That's a really cool sword. That sword looks really sick. Okay, yeah, we are, uh, we are, how you say, under-leveled. Whoa! Wait! Wait! Why are you faster than me? You shouldn't be faster than me. Got an idea. That wasn't the idea. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, young guy, come on, you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go, sit in that. Hey, uh, have they updated NPCs to be? He's got Estes. Wunderbar. Yes, wunderbar. The mausoleum knight has Estes, yeah. And I'm almost out of mind, Jesus. That, man, did they did they nerf Shield Crash? I don't remember it being that much of a setup. Here comes the train! Didn't do shit to him. Oh, and he broke my guard! <laughs> Fun. Uh... <laughs> What else is going on in here? All right, pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm not. I'm not giving you the respect you deserve because let's face it, I don't respect anyone. Uh -huh, I got an idea. Poke, poke, poke. <laughs> oh, I did the follow up. I knew it was coming. He only did it once. God, we are out of astuce. We are out of astuce. The word of a Trishon. Oh, and you're out of Astuce. All right, even played for you, baby. <laughs> Shield poking his fucking nuts in this game. How did he jump over my shield counter? <laughs> yeah, you don't got it. You don't got it in you, do you? That's a pretty sick crossbow. Gotta run errands, I'll try to get it back. All right, see you, Gerg. Thanks for stopping by. Why is that missing? 
Yikes. There we go. I'm like, that's point blank. That shit shouldn't be missing. Elden Lord. Elden Poke. That's a really cool sword he has. Enemy felled! 100,000? The Great Sword of Solitude, the Helm of Solitude, the Armor of Solitude, the Gauntlets, and the Greaves. <laughs> nice. All right. GG's, GG's, GG's. Uh, let's take a little peek a poo what we just got here. Strength and Dex. Dex! Dex! Steel Greatsword wielded by the Knights of the Solitary Jail. Through a secret rite, they relinquish their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engrave their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth and the other, solitude. Unique skills, solitary moon slash. Sharpie slash down, using the great sword. That was his, yeah, that was his thing. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it looks pretty sick. The big overhand, any unique R2s? Nope, just big old swing swong. That's not a bad looking sword. Yo, this thing is better than my helmet? Steel Helm of the Knights of the Solitary Jail, part of a heavy armor set that covers the whole body in overlapping plates of steel. The nameless mausoleums of the Realm of Shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. I definitely like the look of mine better. Holy shit! 99 focus? And 24 pounds? That's a sick cape, though. Wow, this first armor set is on par with the Tree Sentinel set. That's... that's something. It's a pretty cool looking set, I'm not gonna lie. Parts of it are a little plain, but... Okay. I mean, I'm definitely staying gaudy and gold all day, every day, baby. But the special stats on this are nuts. That is so much focus. Wow. How can one have a name and not a heart, or a heart, but without a name? I want to just say internet, but that seems like the cop-out. My goodness, I am, uh, I am baking in this apartment. Uh, we really need to get an AC here this week. <laughs> All right, so uh, there was our first like optional boss and we did it without any upgrades. And, and I say without upgrades, having a fully upgraded mace and shield, but yeah. Praise the message and then secret of secret. Eat my ass, you tired ploy. Eat my whole ass. All right, well, we, we walked into that shit, and uh, even though it took everything we had, uh, we came away winning. That was just an NPC boss, but wow, that's, um, that's going to be good for new games, because if you rush the DLC, if you get through Moog and Radon, and then you come here looking for uh, an early game heavy armor set, yeah, that's pretty sick. Oh, sorry, hang on, my cords are getting all tangled. I wanted to come back to this part fully and see if there was anything back here I missed. Oh, it's just a burb. <laughs> uh -huh, yep, get bongoed. All right, I think it's about time we go and take on the Wicker Man. See if we can even put a dent in his health pool.
Who knows if these things drop anything good? They're so angry. Why are they so angry? All I did was kill them. The... I think, yeah, that's that's a burb. Oh, whammo! There's a big gate over there, and then the Wicker Man. The one issue I have, if you could even call it an issue, is that it really does seem kind of hard to see when it's nighttime. Like, in nighttime in the rest of the game, there's the moon or the stars, like, there's a bit of a glow. But here, when the sun goes down, it's very smoky and just dark. I'm gonna go back to the crack of noon here. Oh, maybe because it was rainy, it added a little bit of fog. All right, uh, to go. You all right, hon? Yeah, I'm okay, sorry. That's okay. All right, for glory! Out of my way, I got a date with a wicker man. Mm, all these shadowy figures are making me lose my course. They're distracting me. With promises of nothing, really. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, wait a minute. Hey, Pop Man, you got anything else? Drop anything the second time? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. All right, sorry, everybody. Just continue with whatever the hell you were doing. Go about your business. All right, wicker giant. What do you got for me? Uh, yep, definitely filled with bodies. And there's the Crest of the Sun. It looks very similar to the Crest on the Dung Eater's armor. Wait, are you not... Are you not a boss? Are you just an enemy? Are you are? Okay. Just gonna get under... Just gonna get under these feet seats here. Just give you a little tap. Give you a little tip-tap. Oh! Oh! Oh, health pool! Oh, flaming stomp! Oh. Maybe we're not equipped to deal with this. Oh, that's a grab attack. That's a grab attack. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> he put me in the flaming toilet. He flushed me down the flaming toilet. Fuck yeah! That's punk rock as fuck! Ooh, hey, look at those ships. Okay! Hey, that's what we wanted. We wanted to experience all the great things the DLC had to offer, including getting flushed down the flaming toilet. I'm gonna get my runes, and uh, we're gonna come back and deal with him later. That's what we're gonna do. Where are my runes? Where, where'd daddy's runes go? There they are. No, 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 thank you. That, that's all right. I, 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 I've already got mine. Thank you. Now we're done here. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> you will get yours, Wicker Man. You will get yours. I can't wait to blast these birds with my mage. Oh, jeez, guys, look at you go. That's that's a lot of stamina damage you're doing to my shield there. You almost got through, like, an, an eighth of my stamina. Okay, that hurt. The beak attack hurt. I'll give it to you. Beak attack paying dividends. Plunk. They're really being quite generous with how much Estus they return. All right, so there's the big gate. Yeah, we're, we're gonna climb all them towers. We're gonna cross all them mountains. I'm sort of just sweeping back and forth here. Yeah, we found that, but we can't go down there yet. We... Did we go up here? I think that's where we got the upgrade material. I think. 
I think. Back and forth here. This is just the plane of desiccation. Oh, wait, there is something over there. It's at the center of the spires. Let's go there. What's eh? And? The best you got, bird? Okay, so this. What wonderful things are waiting for me here around the spirally spires? Oh! Interesting. We got some cultists. They're carrying candelabras. Oh, hi. What's your deal? Oh, yeah, you've got the, you've got the horns. Whoa, Mr. Wicker Man, I am, this is not about you. Mr. Wicker Man, be reasonable. I left you alone. Oh, they've got miracles. Mr. Wicker Man, can you please stop it? You're embarrassing yourself! Well, there go the cultists. The cultists that I wanted to kill. Fuck! I don't know how. They all missed me. Every single one of those shots missed me. Ah, that one did it! That one hit its mark! Oh god! Why? Why is the world so cruel? Go, 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 go! That's the big one! Holy shit! His AOE is nutty! Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Yeah, uh, clearly they want us to go upgrade our spirit ash, whatever the hex, and then come back here and actually be able to topple him. <laughs> Rev up those friars! Help! Help! Holy shit, all right, Wicker Man ain't no joke. He, his attacks are just, they go everywhere. Is he gonna be pissed if I come back over here? Cause I never actually got to check out what was over here. He sort of just started blasting. All right, mm, we got potentially a cave. I will head over there right after I get my runes. All right, cultists, what, uh, what treasures you guarding here? Give me the backhand blade. Cool. Yeah, there's so many, oh man. There's so many new weapon classes we get to discover. Like, oh, hurrah. God, the fire hurts a little bit. But at the end of the day, a bonk. So we got the Great Sword of Solitude. You know, where's this backhand blade? Oh, oh, it's considered its own thing. Curved blade wielded with a backhand grip, a type of weapon wielded by horn, horn scent for generations. Style of combat associated with this weak spot's marked by spinning slashes and gouging thrusts. Leap into close quarters to take advantage of the enemy's blind spot and gore them from the side. Inputs determine which side you strike from. This attack slips below the opponent's guard. Fucking yo. Yo, those are th those are some sick move sets. It said inputs to turn that that's a that's a really interesting thrust. Oh man, they, they're really adding to the PvP experience. It said the inputs determine which side you thrust from, but I'm not. Maybe it's dependent upon if I'm locked on to somebody. Uh, let's go explore that cave. Let's go see what lies in the cave. 
So far, I haven't seen anything of kindly Mikola. Oh, it's a painting. The Sacred Tower painting. Okay. So we got more paintings to get more rewards. All right. No clue where we're going or why we're doing it. Audio, you're staying with me, right? All right. All right. So just like the lands between, these areas are sectioned off and we gotta find our way. That bridge would connect us. Why, uh, what have we here? Uh, what goes on in this neck of the woods? Giant clubs attacking NPCs, it looks like. Them some fat people. Okay. Oh shit. Just gonna give the, gonna give the wicker man a wide berth. All right, I fought enough of you. I fought enough of you bird fucks. I'm just looking for things. There's a thing. Thank you for your thing. Bye. Except for you. You get the wombo. Uh, you get the wombo. Fine. If you've chosen death. The cost and damage of Spectral Lance is dumb. It's just nutty. say that we would not survive that. So we've got two choices, really. We've got the Great Gate and uh, this bridge. It's pretty spectacular spanning bridge. I think I see an NPC over there by that grace, so let's go get the grace. Indeed. Oh. We got two NPCs. All right, we got a backhand sword user with a... That face. Touch cross. Uh, all right. And you, who do you be with your pretty cool looking armor? Actually. Ah, Lady Leda spoke of you. How <laughs> did she know? Tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. Nice sword. I once fought alongside General Radan. Oh, that makes battle, sense. You can be sure I'll hold my own. Oh, another thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. Uh-huh. Yeah, Mik Mikola the Kind. If you've yet to do so, assuming you intend to trace kind Mikola's path. The dour little friend. Empyrean blood version. A young shoot, heavy with Empyrean blood. Exceedingly rare to find. Said to burgeon forth from where the golden blood of Mikola, the wounded Empyrean, pooled. Scott a tree fragment. Okay, we got more of our our damage upgrades. I, another, treading the heels of Mikela. Then, as that woman would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned. But understand, your kind are not forgiven. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed, set aflame. I believe Mikela's apologies. When he says our delivery will come. But never will I see your kind as worthy. 
Yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of the Elden Lord, so I don't give a fuck what you think, buddy. I love me some Mikola. I'm a Mikola stan. <laughs> and yet my oath I cannot overlook. If Mikola it is whom you would seek, then comrade, allow me to give you this. This man's covered the in like... Of the crosses I found. This guy looks like he's covered in a fishing net. Follow after Mikola. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. And herein lie the cross map. Map of crosses has been added. I urge you, as long as you are... So like, and herein lies the choices we now have to make. So we've got a map of crosses and we can follow in Mikola's footsteps or maybe we can choose to not follow in his footsteps. I'm gonna touch the cross. Carved words coalesce. I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. If you've yet assume a new intent. I think it would probably be an info. Maybe not. Maybe in documents. I know that we are holding it. We received it. Up of the grave site, Lake of Ra, yeah, Consecrate Ansel River. Potentate's cookbook. Hmm. Well, we've just got the map, so that's not important. Let's move on. So at this point, uh, I can use a few of these blessings to upgrade myself. I still want to keep going. I want to see how we do being weak, as it were. And I really wish Twitch's module would catch up. Uh, I, I might be missing some things, guys. Sorry if you're in here. Sorry if there's... Oh, dear. <clears throat> you know, I just realized having this Xbox on is going to heat this place up even further. Oh, Lord have mercy. I need an air conditioner. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to take the giant archway path. That I'm guessing is going to lead this way. And then maybe we'll get turned away... And then eventually we'll have to decide if we want to head up here. Are they still here? Did they head out? Nope, they're still here. So she used to fight by Radon, and now she is following Mikola. Or at least the path. Line up for your smacks! Everyone's just carrying fruit. Where's my broken weapons? Damn dogs are strong in the Shadow Realms. Wonder how long it's gonna take for someone to, uh, to make Yugi Moto and head to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Oh, we got another grace. Yeah, we're heading up the side path here. Side path to Little Village, big gate to castle, and this leads to the tower area over there. We're essentially in Limgrave. That's, that's what we're exploring here. Shadow dogs. Shogs. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we got flushed down the burning toilet, Gurg. It, it, it was very fun for all involved except for my character. Oh, this leads under the bridge. Let me get the grace first. And a couple of thin beast bones. You know, for toothpicks. Right, another scorched village. Great Bridge North. Three Path Cross, Red Mane, Freya, and Horn Scent. Okay, so he's a member of the Horn Scent. 
Haven't seen Leda yet. She said she'd be along eventually. They, these are some fucking sprawling planes. Oh, uh, okay. That implies that there's a boss nearby. And uh, let's see here. Using all of my years of wisdom and gamer acumen, I think that that guy down there's the boss. What is that, a dragon? That looks like a, a tree dragon, a wooden dragon. All right, well, in time, in time, all ye cheeks shall be clapped. Yeah, there's literally just, these are all just shadow hollows. Well, we're certainly getting an abundance of crafting material that we're never going to use. Oh, we got a little shack. Lovely. What resides in- wait, wait, wait a minute. Is a bell-bearing hunter gonna come out? Is a- is a Shadowlands bell-bearing hunter gonna coalesce? Or maybe an invasion? The Furnace Visage. The Rundown Traveler's Rest. Another Furnace Visage. And the Greater Potentate's Cookbook, too. Uh, I got multiple Furnace Visages. So... Yeah. Exceedingly rare to find. A smaller imitation of the Furnace Golem's visage. Okay, so it's called the Furnace Golem. A stone mask surrounded by curled horns depicting the fell god of fire that haunts the sagas of the horn scent. Interesting. The fell god is tied to the fire giants, I believe. I, I, if, if I'm remembering my lore, the fire giant tends the flame and the god that the fire giants worship, the one invoked on the chest, I believe is the fell god. Then again, they're also called the omens, the fell omens, and the horns are very indicative of omens. Hmm, the, the implications, the implications abound. Any other reason to uh, come under this here bridge? No, torrents. Oh, uh, you screwy little guy. Jeez, everybody just cuts in with the immediate shit. Try finger butthole, secret item, try jumping. You don't have the right. I thought, I thought by now we surely would at least come up with something, something new. Something innovative in our, in our quest to troll and meme. Instead, it's all just recycled and regurgitated. The abandoned ailing village. The fuck are you? You look tiny. Tiny enemies are the worst, it is known. Oh shit, all right. Oh, it's the flies! It's the fucking... It's... It's the flies! They've even got the grab attack! They're not doing any bleed status, but these are the fucking flies from Sister Freed's basement! That's exactly what they are! They also look like children, which is just gravy. Yeah, they're the rotten Freed flies, 100%. Oh, hey! Another thing! I wonder how many of these there are. It must be a very minimal upgrade if we're already finding... I think we already found, like, two of each. Four, maybe five total. Oh, boy. Human bone shards. These are the freed flies. Ah! Oh shit. 
Nope. Two wax and you're out of here. Fly mold. A species of fungus known for its deathly sweet stench. Found by hunting man flies. Cultivated using the flesh and blood of man flies, it can serve as pot innards. Yeah, these are... Oh my god. Look at that design. The elongated spine. These, this is some necromorph shit. Flymen. Wonderful. Great. Now we have to deal with flymen. Maybe if we use dung pots, we can distract them. Oh, hello, fetal position ghost. Oh, how it hurts from very tip to toe. Ah, help me, I must ask. Am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so? Good question. Uh, uh, good question. I don't have an answer for you. Uh, I, all, I'm do all I've got is death to deal. Mm. All right, who wants to play catch with dad? Go low. Uh, what? That was weird. It canceled it. Gonna make some man fly pie? Mmm. -hmm. Catch! 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 Oh, I love the boulder. I love it so much. I don't know, they don't seem to be ailing. They seem to be enjoying their lives. They seem to be getting along just fine. Let's go to the peak first. Let's go to the top of this hill and then we'll scale down. That's a pretty big building. And the flies are worshipping. I love it. I, I love the anticipation. Lot oh, okay. We can torrent step all the way down there. Holy shit. We, we could take the stone staircase down if we wanted to. Hello, pretties. What is it that you worship at this here altar? Ah, I got the crap attack. That seems stronger. Oh, they're buffed. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, that's death. Okay, they had a red buff on them. And that guy was launching fly incantations. Oh, I get it. Flies, flies. It all makes sense now. Why am I walking around with seven million, seven million runes in my pocket? <laughs> oh, I didn't go in this building either. I missed that. Okay. We will go in there after I get the runes back and uh, get a little revenge. When did you get buffed? Who buffed you? There it is. All right, he casts the red buff. Oh, that's a lot of bodies. Whoa, that's a drop off. The ailment talisman. Guy had a staff. You gotta be careful. These guys can basically two shot me. Oh, but I can two-shot them. Oh, tragic. Uh, ailment talisman. Raises resistance to the last ailment suffered. Interesting. That means that this one can be comboed. We can pair this one with other talismans. Talisman depicting a soul taken by sickness. When certain ailments are triggered, this talisman grants resistance to the same. When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. What do you mean there's nothing in here? What do you mean? Be wary of Fortnite. Oh, 
get fucked. These messages are the real evil. These tired, limp-dicked messages are the real evil. It's another broken rune. Alright, uh, ailment village is done. I saw a body over here with a shiny. Item ahead. I gotta be careful too. I, I gotta remember, FromSoft likes to take enemies and make them NPCs sometimes. I gotta see if anyone's gonna be willing to talk to me. Hello, crying fly. Are, uh, are you an enemy? Are you, okay, yeah, you're an enemy. All right, off you go to Jesus. What we got here? Greater Potentate Cookbook 10. I wonder if there's any difference among the cookbooks. Hefty furnace pot, hefty fly pot. Okay, nope, that's the same. So where are we? Uh, yep, Great Bridge North. That is, I think, the, the Wood Dragon's Lake. Yeah, woof woof. Let me introduce you to my friend, Euthanasia. White flesh mushroom. This is all new. All these resources are new, so we gotta scap. We gotta scap. Yeah, yeah, some ruins up there. Wood dragon swamp, as I'm calling it right now. Anything over here? Interesting, like, you know, gravesite mausoleum depictions. There's gotta be something up here. Something mean. Something angry. Ha! Ha ha! And that is why we use lock on. Oh, uh, give me a sec here. I wish this would refresh. I foray into this. It's a little slow to start, but I mean, I expected it to be. I, I wanna, I wanna investigate. So uh, I've actually prepared a little something for enemies that like to be cheeky. It's called Boulder. Yeah, yeah, sucks, don't it? Hurts like a bitch. And you, sir, are you waiting to receive my limp boulder? They were just waiting for that ambush. The grave bird armor. Ooh, there was one behind that I missed. Okay. It's all right. The boulder goes far. <laughs> the boulder got range. I want that item. I, I, I want, I want, I want. We're gonna find a way. Oh, we're gonna find a way. Damn it, Torrent. Hey guys, you see that bit? You see how Torrent's got a bit in his mouth? One could say that that's a bit Torrent. You can all unsubscribe from me now. In fact, just call the cops. All right, we're not getting that item. Sad. Stone armor with a tinge of green. One of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of the grave bird. Grave birds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves built where all manners of death ultimately drift. Ooh. 
Not a bad barbarian set. That's gonna pair nicely. We got that Elden Bling! I really... God, I really do like the Armor of Solitude. I'm gonna have to do a, a, a Fashion Souls walk to, to, to pair all of the new clothing. Our runes, we are out of flask. I gotta remember that. Where does that lead? Oh. Okay, okay. All right, time to head into Wood Dragon Lake, I think. Interesting. And then that should lead us back towards the Great Gate. Oh, wait, actually, no. No, no, oh, that's the gate. The gate's way over there, and the ramp leads up. Okay, let's explore this field first. Let's see what's down here. Oh, we got a cave. Those are iron. Damn. Hey, we got our first legacy dungeon. Or legacy cave. Cave dungeon. Why do I feel like that's going to slam shut behind me? I want my gifted subs back. <laughs> hey, Monk, you got a little train emote now. Fuck yeah, brother. This just, this just feels wrong. Okay. Yo, those are blue. F Is that ghost flame? Yo, what the fuck? What am I looking at over here? Okay. So I'm getting a lot of messages from family, etc. since the move. The Bellarat Jail. Cool. <laughs> Why not? No time like the present. Let's head on in. Head on down. This place is way too big. Let's head back out. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Look at all these bloodstains. God damn. Like, it was always there. The potential for them to make gigantic underground places like Noxtella and Nokron, Eternal City. Like, it was always there, but holy shit. And also, all the pot architecture. Oh, we hear weeping. It's the best you got. Is that literally the best you got? Who's weeping? I didn't give you permission to weep. Excuse me. Frozen maggots. Lovely. Lovely. Mainly found in jails, the maggots develop in great jar innards and are an invaluable source of sustenance to the prisoners. Oh, good! We're just eating maggots in jail. Still better than the U.S. prison system. It, it's, it's amazing that of all the things, they're really seeming to expand upon the pot lore. Cry on your own time. I'm the Elden Lord. Hole. Good call. Good call. I wonder if this isn't actually connected to the big area, if this is just a jail around it. This all looks like ghost flame, which is interesting. Uh, oh, fuck! Well, thankfully, this isn't your typical Dark Souls, and we can travel after we beat the boss. Oh, 
Come on, prisoners. Give it your best. Do I look like one of you? Do I look like a lesser? Huh. All right, yeah, the uh, the the architecture of this place is mwah. It's 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 pretty mwah. It is uh, several chef's kisses here. This is this is compelling. Be wary of jumping off. Yeah, fuck you! 3,148 people. Uh, 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 some of you might be saying, oh, you're triggered. Yes. Triggered, turnt, tilt, pissed off, angry, furious, obsessed. There's so many pots. This is such a sad place for pots. And the enemies are a little lackluster. All they do is cry. Tarnished butthole ahead. <laughs> you know, I almost looked at that and said, there must be a way around it. Because again, I've been playing so much Dark Souls 3, I forgot that there's a jump button. Okay, th 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 there actually kind of are several tarnished buttholes ahead. So that one wasn't wrong. I'm gonna continue along the actual path and we'll... Okay, that's where we're going. Ah, target lock, then offer snake. <laughs> uh, see, the, uh, the creative sexual messages I can get behind. The, the ones that actually tried, you know, that put in some effort, I can get behind those. I'd say there's no way back, but we're past the first point of no way back, so... Give me your frozen maggots. I intend to have a delicious feast later. Wait for the shoe to drop. There's gotta be something horrifyingly nasty down here other than just the boss. God, these folks have, have completely given up. Also, like, what state of being is this? Have, are these guys that have already been killed by Mesmer, like, in this land, because there's no Erd tree to return to? Like, is this just Shadow Grace? I don't know, and I don't care. It dies when I hit it. Tarnished, thy vandalism befits a crown. And all the cages out front lead me to believe that whatever was held in this jail... Oh! It's the Megapot! There's pots down there, I see, and then there's the Megapot! Oh my goodness! Guys, we made it! We made it to the Mines of Moria! Look, everyone, we did it! There's Gandalf jumping across now! This is cool. The... the the bre the, like, you come into Dark Souls and you know it's going to be breathtaking, and they know that you know it's going to be breathtaking, so they need to, like, like, shove the breath back in you so they can take it away, and I just respect that. Pretty good lighting in here, actually. I thought it was going to be a little dark. Talk? Oh, right, it's the ghost. Oh, please, not the jaw! Anything but that. I promise something. I swear a living saint. I'll surely be. Please, you must forgive me. Forgive me, please. Yeah, please, not the jar. Anything but that. I promise I won't ever do it again. So, these prisoners, whoever they were, rounded up. I I'm guessing that they were maybe pulped into paste and stuffed into the, the living jars. Because we all know that the living jars are filled with the, in like the innards of heroes. But I suppose they also could have been used as, like, torture devices, seeing as there's this fucking many. Oh, God. Dark Souls 2 platforming? Are you kidding me? We are, we are at the... This, this, is, this is Broom Tower. 
This is the crown of the old Iron King. We we doing some chain platforming. God damn. I'm going to avoid that for as long as I can. I gave you a chance. I give everyone a chance. Okay, so there is a way forward. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, if we want to get all the way down there, we're going to have to do pot platforming. Pot forming! Oh, that's an open pot. A lot of blood stains. New new enemy? Oh, that's going to crawl out. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh, look at you. Look at you, innard man. That's very reminiscent of Dark Souls 1. They're like the egg sack carriers in the spider den. Oh, that is... That's a grab attack? No. Oh, that is... That is horrifying, and I love it. What can you do to me? Look how its hair is, like, fused to its back. Yeah, you can't do shit because I got a grave shield. You look like a kidney. You look like a living spleen. Interesting. It's got a crown on its leg. I think. Or maybe those are chains. It's angry, for sure. Shadow Realm Rune 3. Whoop! <laughs> what was that attack? And can you do it again, please? I want to experience it. Likely house, therefore time for slug. Do that again. Was that a grab attack? I, I, I want you to hit me with that. Not that one. Uh, this is what I'm here for. This is the shit, baby. It looks like a noble crown around its leg. Given that all these things... Oh. Nope. Those are the rocks. Oh. Did that just go right through me and do nothing? Did it even hurt me? Go to bed. Holy shit. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, I, I, uh, the constant humbling reminder that I am a bitch baby until I use those special things. Uh, what did we get in here? I picked up that item and I've already completely forgotten what it was. Was it something important or not at all? I'm gonna say not at all. Oh, right, we got a Shadow Realm rune. Golden remnants of the grace bestowed upon those who fell in the realm of shadow. The soldiers who joined the crusade were rewarded with grace aplenty. Okay. Pot platforming time, everybody. Let's all just try to have some fun with it, shall we? There's two routes we could take. We could go the higher route. I'm gonna go the I'm gonna go the easy route. And we're Oh, I really thought we slid off there and died. Who baby. Ah, oh, shit. It's... Oh, I don't have my... I came in here without my wondrous physic. I didn't rest at the grace. God damn. All right. Thankfully, I always carry a nice fresh pair of sacrificial twigs on me. Try rolling. I mean, honestly, yeah. We are. Hmm. We can go down there, there, and then get to the floor. Or we can jump to that one and that wooden ceiling area, which is above all those little pots I now see shuffling and scuffling. Uh, let's go this way. Hoya! Very nice. And hoi! Little pots! Look, it's not my fault that you're filled with the dreams of children, all right? Oh, yay, try. Oh, ho, ho, ho. awesome. 
Okay, that that's cool. They can, now now I've got to look at every single one of these pots expecting an attack. Nice headbutt, buddy. Uh, I fucking underestimated that shit. I keep underestimating that. But you know what? That's okay. Because I have brought sustenance. And I think I've got two blue, too, so that's good. Let's still get an Estus in us. I'm waiting. I, I don't know if they've added mimics, but I'm waiting for a treasure chest to eat me. Another hefty crack pot. Then we got adult pot. Yeah, that one's got arms and little baby pots. The second we attack the babies, the adult's gonna get mad. And normally, like, I'd accept, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd understand, but I'm the Elden Lord, so, like, I mean, like, you know, like, show some goddamn respect. Okay, we got more pot essence. Hello, parent pot. Well, parent pot, I, I was just gonna leave you be. Off you go. <laughs> I always loved cracking me some pots. For a first ever jail, this is interesting. Stone astrolabe ahead. I mean, you're, you're wrong completely and utterly, but I appreciate the confidence. There we go. There's the raw meat dumpling enemy. I'm gonna treat you with the respect you deserve and comfortably poke you. Yep, see, now you can't hurt me. <laughs> That's what the shield's for. Suck my shield, dumpling. He's trying so hard. Innard meat. Woo, baby, we ain't good at that. We are cooking with meat. Where is it? I must read about the innard meat. It's probably next to the innard meat. Scraps of flesh for filling great jars. Rancorous spirits cling to the pinkish red twitching meat. Throw at enemies to inflict damage. This is what becomes of the condemned who get sliced up and stuffed into jars to become saints instead. Love it. Here for it. Just, just soaking it all in. All right, we've, uh, we've hit the bridge. We are heading towards Big Pot. And my God, it still seems like there's a lot to go. Although that could all just be architecture. Oh, hello, Meat Man. Hey, what's up, Meat Man? The Meat Wad. The Meat Wad enemies. Uh. Don't fall, I uh, want what's inside. Still interested in what that attack does. This has been a fun first jail. I do still have to beat the boss though. I wonder if it's a pot. Monstrosity ahead. Oh Jesus, Meat Man put on a helmet. Oh God, how am I gonna cope? Oh, like that. Okay. Well, that was much easier than I thought it would be. I'm just, I'm just gonna... You understand, right? If I don't touch you, you're disgusting. Huggy guggy! Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I love target lock. Target locks. Target lock's the real J. Is that all you can do? <laughs> Suckers. You wanna play that game? Yes, thank you. I will take all my health back. It's gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't. We're good. Oh, jeez. Big pot's a little intimidating, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, holy secret pots, Batman. 
You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. I hate it. I fuck. Oh! At the hall! Oh! oh! At least these ones aren't getting liked down here. Miyazaki! <laughs> uh, that's fine. I fear no evil, for thy great shield is with me. My giant mace, it comforts me. Oh, pot maze. I never knew I wanted a maze of pots. I'm not reading the messages because I want to be startled. Oh yeah, that's totally an enemy. No, no, just stay put. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's right. Get broken. The meat man. That? Hmm. Oh, oh, the shadows got pissed. Now, which way, which way? It's probably that way that we're going, so I'll head this way first. Oh! Lost Ashes of War, okay. Yeah, I can understand needing a few of those. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, oh, now, wait a second. Maybe I don't know where I'm going. I'm all turned around in the pot maze. Oh, here we go. We got broken pots. Uh, and we know that there was an item over there on top of the pots. I don't think... Yeah, I can't get up there. Another meat... Another meat-tastic moment. Let me just uh, check over here quick. How does one get atop the pot with the item? It's back there, so yeah, it's probably in the very back corner. Okay, Meatopolis, where'd you go? This man's going meat mode. There he is. It'd be so intimidating if it wasn't. Oh, you fucker. How did you get that off, you fucker? I wonder if, uh, yeah, good, good on them. After, I think they learned when they added the jump button how easy some things were to skip. And so I think they learned that they need to really curtail the places that you can jump. Your potentate cookbook 11. God, the pot, the, the pot maze. This is no joke. I am getting disoriented. Interesting, interesting. Okay, there we go. There's some steps up to the pots. You! Yeah, do your jump, thank you! I will take all my health back. Okay, more pot stairs. Let's go up the pots. You bitch! Fuck! That's good. Okay, good. It missed.
Thank you. All better. Pot maze is hype. I mean it. Pot, pot maze is pretty damn hype. So we know there's an item way over there, and there's some pots I need to jump over. Uh, anything on these pots? Oh, okay. Looks like that's the exit to the pot maze. But we're not done here. We're not done here by a long shot. All right, we'll go over the ones that we didn't... I uh, think it was here. There, there was a meat man. The last item on top of the pot. Oh, yeah! Snicky, snicky! Y'all like guard counters! Maggots. There's gotta be pot stairs around here somewhere. Could it be? Now oh, we're so close, I can almost taste it. I think it's right over there is the item. I can't leave my frozen maggots behind. Joshy! Oh my goodness! Hello, guys. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry. My Twitch module is down, and so I can't see who's in my stream right now. But I did see that Woody just followed me this very minute, and Alex's Ryan just followed me. Thank you, guys. Josh Rain with the party in 19. Let's fucking go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Uh, if y'all know or don't know, my name is Master Fong, and we're doing Elden Ring because everybody's doing Elden Ring, and we're having a great time so far. Uh, we're currently in Pot Prison, and uh, it's pretty nice. There's a lot of horrifying monstrosities working their way around town, and a bunch of men made out of meat. No, that is exactly what it sounds like. I hope your stream went well, Josh. I'm sorry I haven't been able to catch you. Uh, moving has been... Has been hell. Moving has been hell, but we're here now. Hey, short potato. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't go back through all those. Yeah, we're, we're, we're deep underground. This is a prison of sorts. Outside, there's like a dragon made of woods and thorn. Oh, there we go. Hello, little pot children. Are you nice pot children? Oh, you are. You don't want me dead. Sucks to be you. It's not that I hate pots, it's just that I want souls. Nothing new, huh? Yeah, you might be a DLC pot, but you got old tricks. I am, yes, I am murdering children. That is a quote uh, that you can quote me on. I murder children, Master Fong, 2024. It's been so much fun. I, uh, I, I've got a lack of, like, I'm, I'm so speechless, I'm ran- Oh, good. Tell me that's a secret down there. Son of a bitch! It's just, uh, it's been like two years since this game came out, and, all right, we got poop jokes. This DLC is just mega hype, and, uh, we're in our first, like, legacy dungeon. There's a meat man! I wonder if they're supposed to pull you towards them and that was supposed to like insta-kill me. Oh, he face-planted. He's all squelchy. Oh, there he goes. And rip. Good run. 
The good hustle, meat man. That that uh, good for you. <laughs> yeah, we're in our first legacy dungeon. We did some uh, outside exploring. We got our cheeks clapped by the wicker man. He flushed us down a flaming toilet again, exactly as it sounds. Um, and now we, we, we stumbled into a cave, the stairs broke, and we're trapped in here with 7.5 million runes in our pocket. Oh shit! They got their helmets on! It's not gonna save them. Oh god, that's gonna hurt though. The rocks, I hate the rocks! Ooh, oh, he got me! Finally, what's this grab attack do? Alright, he's eating me, he's eating me. Oh. I mean, if I wanted to be eaten... If I wanted my ass eaten, I would just find your mother. Yeah, the clunk. They're just so squishy. Oh, are you bigger? You are bigger. You're a big meat man. Okay. It's not gonna matter. I mean, at the end of the at the end of the day, you're still going down. Appreciate it, guys. Anyone heading out? Thank you so much. Yeah, we, uh, we're still a little jank here. You know, we just moved in yesterday. We got boxes everywhere, and the setup is not set up. But uh, we don't need any of that because we got Elden Ring. Oh, okay. There's the wall. There's the boss door. So we got to go down there. But I, I didn't get to see Big Pot. We fell down, and I didn't get to pay my respects to Big Pot. Oh, man, I think he's still up there. We might not get to go see Big Pot. I might have to come back and do some jumping or something. I just can't tell if this is death. Lift ahead. Yeah, but like, is it actually? It looks like down there, I don't think there's anything else I can jump to. That just feels like, oh wait, no, there we go. Okay, <laughs> the spirit has spoken, that is a lift. You're a big meat man. Yeah, that's another quote, you can quote that too. Do it, do it, Buck? Are we doing it? Okay, I've got a Twiggy on. And I think we know the way forward is, it looks to be down there, unless this is also a lift. If I jump on it, it might go down. Let me just take a quick peek here. We go down there and then we drop onto that and that, yeah, that's the boss. So, all right, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, maybe that's how we get back to Big Pot. We just gotta have a little faith. We gotta have some goddamn faith. Eh? Fuck yeah. Mm, and then some, oh, oh, okay. You're just an active lift now. Do you move? You do not, okay. And what the hell is this? Gesturing. Oh, that's right. There are areas, we, we don't have the jester, but we gotta find it. Make sure to smash that follow button, you sexy beast. Oh, thank you, Josh. That's very kind of you. Now, yeah, to everybody that followed me, thank you so much. Um, uh, I will be exclusively playing this game for the next days, many days. Um, so if you like Elden Ring, tune in if you ever, uh, see my alerts pop up. Um, but even if you're not here, even if nobody's here, I will still be here, uh, babbling to myself like a madman and just please just punch that there is now more Elden Ring content to play. Ooh, yep, we're gonna meet Big Pot. You were almost cool, and then you weren't. <laughs> you 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 are far too kind to me, Josh. That's very sweet of you. Ah yes, the glorious blue ball pot. What do you got for me? The great jar. Oh shit! It's an armor piece! So now we've got the helmet that Alexander gave us in the default game, and we've got the Great Jar. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I, uh, I brought the pot people's one weakness, uh, giant steel club. It's, uh, it's subtle, but yeah, it gets the job done. Anything hidden back here? Why are we defiling giant blue ball pot with boxes? I gotta, I gotta try that sucker on. Let me just uh, look around here real quick. 
Is there any way back down from here? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, just with some janky platforming. Wonderful. Wonderful. That, that, that's what we wanted. I've got nine Isdus. Behold God. I mean, yeah. I can only imagine how many people were shoved into that pot. If Alexander couldn't kill us, what made the boy think he could do the job? It's true. At the end, do you fight Jar Jar Binks? I hope so. I hope that that boss bar pops up and that it's Jar Jar Binks and I just get to take his fucking face off. But before that, a great jar which fits comfortably, comfortably over the head when upturned. Attire of the shamans who perform their worship at jails. Increase the power of thrown pots of all sizes. They offer their prayers to the innards of the great jars, such that they might be reborn one day into sainthood. This is the cycle of death and rebirth, taken into the hands of mortal. Oh my god! Guys, we might have found Mama Lasagna's new headpiece. <laughs> the pasta pot. Jesus! This ain't a pot. This is a cauldron. This is a double, double toil and trouble. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I love El I love FromSoft's ability to make me laugh at things that really shouldn't be funny. And yet, they just deliver it with such a straight face, you can't help but chortle. Okay, I don't think there's any way to get behind God Pot. Yeah, we can't, we can't go behind... That's fine. Let's see what the boss is. I'm very interested in to see what the boss of this jail is. We actually already beat one boss. We found a mausoleum, and it was an NPC that was doing some sick damage to us, but in the end, we won. All right, that's just the pot drop. Very nice. You can put a wheel of fucking Parmesan in there. That's a guy, that's a guy with the Pepe pot. <laughs> Yeah, no. What, what do you mean? I'm not a pothead. What are you talking about? Look, marijuana has expanding mental properties that aren't fully understood by science. <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that, that. I needed that. I, I needed some pot humor like that in my life. Are you a lift? You're not. Down we go. This is, uh, this is, this is kind of horrifying, and I love horrifying implications. The fact that there was this prison, and the whole point was to slice people up and shove them into pots. Artistic! You know, ingenuitive. Any last minute hidden shinies? No. Alright, boss time! Oh, they, they gave us a stake of America. That, that is so kind. That is just so very kind of you. Uh, let me slap on, actually. I want me some more souls. And I've got- I've got enough pickled foul feet, I think. Can I make any more? No, I'm very- I'm lacking in the four-toed foul foot department. And golden fireflies. What have I been doing with my life? Yeah, I'm gonna buff. I'm the Elden Lord, baby. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. Demi-human sword master Ons. I love it. I love that it's this tiny, non-threatening little guy. Oh shit, look at him go! I knew it! I'm like, oh, you're, you're gonna you're gonna throw a tiny guy at me and tell me that he's not an absolute threat? Demi human so this is what I wanted. This is what I was waiting for in the main game. I was waiting for a demi human to absolutely rock my fucking world. And now we've got Kakashi flipping the fuck out. He's got a frostbite sword, magic for days. This is gonna be hard with my uh with my big hammer, I think. Look at him! He's like Yoda! He's the Yoda of demi humans! Unsuspecting I am! Deadly I am! Man actually blocked an attack. Do you know how many people in this game don't block attacks? Like all of them. But big hammer go bonk. Dude, he's got some attack chains too. Look at this shit. It's, I love it. I fucking love it. A fucking demi-human swordmaster. That shit's special. Oh, wombo. 
He's not gonna win, I don't think, unless he gets like vicious in like phase two or something. That is, this is a cool boss. He's so tiny and yet I fear for my life. Woohoo! Yeah, but like, you know, shield. Like, that's why I bring the great shield. That's the great equalizer. Hang on, hang on, here comes the train. Oh, he dodged it. What a thunder, Chad. Oh, he, oh, you don't like stagger. Oh, oh, at the end of the day, you are like Yoda. Dude, look at his invisibility though. That's so great. He looks kind of like, uh, that is a fucking attack. He looks kind of like Gollum. Oh, I hit the wall. Whoa, there goes all my health. He looks kind of like Gollum. Nope, 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 nope. Shut that shit down. Uh-uh. Get in that corner and you take your spanking, young man. That was cool. Demi-human swordsman Yosh. 96k? All right. We got his, we got his spirit ashes. So I'm confused. Are we in some realm of Mikola? Uh... Not of Mikola. That's the question, Monk. The lore implications right now are that this area, the Realm of Shadows, it's basically an interdimension. It's somewhere else. But long ago, Merica sent her son Mesmer to lead a genocidal, graceless crusade. Mesmer came here, torched everything, impaled everything, burned everything, and committed horrible atrocities. You know, just the usual everyday stuff. We don't know why though, and that's the question. We don't know what exactly these people were or why America wanted Mesmer to destroy them. That's what we're here to learn. You don't have the right, oh, you don't have the right. Oh good, no, no tunnel ahead. That's, that's actually a message. Yo, these, uh, th th that's gonna be wild spirit ashes. I'm not gonna jump, I'm not gonna jump on it and upgrade it fully immediately because I bet there's even more coming, but where, where are you? Demi-human swordsman Yosh. Ashen remains in which the spirits yet dwell. Once a master swordsman who devoted himself to the star-lined sword realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars and imprisoned himself in order to forestall it. However, Yosh, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent, and spent entire his life at his side in defiance of his self-imprisoned seclusion. Okay, so the master swordsman was someone else and Yosh was his apprentice. And the master swordsman realized that there was ruin at the end of the procession of stars. God, guys, the lore. Just slurping it up. Oh, I am such a law whore. You, <laughs> you don't have the right, oh, you don't have the, you don't have the, you don't have the right, oh, you, 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 know. you don't have the right, oh, you don't, fuck you! Fuck you all! Why is it always you don't have the right? Thank you, that's good. Applaud, applaud! Glorious applause! <laughs> uh, uh, I think that's it. I think we have to warp out of here now. We came all the way to the bottom of this pit to fight a demi-human. After all the meat men- Oh, thank you. The hydration reminder. After all the demi-humans and the massive pots, we fight Yoda. That was so cool to me. I- That was such a cool boss. And I would have died if not for my great shield. Save me some apple chips, please. <laughs> thank you, love. Well, leave that here. It's my water. <laughs> Morgoth, Moog, Mesmer, and Godfrey. Wait, so America had another son. America's got fucking babies all over the place. Mer America is on paternity court with Lauren Lake, and every time it's you are the parent, you are the mother. <laughs> yeah, no, well, okay, so I, I we think Mesmer is America's son because he, he says in the trailer, he's like, mother, how, why would you something, something, blah, 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 blah. Um, but we don't know who Mesmer's father is. Now, Merica had children with Godfrey. Merica had children with herself as Radon. So, yeah, where Mesmer came from, we're not sure yet. Again, all these questions we want answers to. Oh, this jail is under whatever castle palace this is. Okay. 
The Bellarat Jail. Okay. Well, now we're heading outside, and uh, I'm going to go to Wood Dragon Lake and see if we can go beat that man, too. And now, thankfully, uh, now I've got my, uh, I've got my flask. I think I looked at all of our talismans, yeah. Okay, so, uh, Bellarat Jail, Legacy Dungeon. I can't just immediately give everything 10 out of 10, but that was like, a that was like an 8 close to a 9 for me. That was a fun experience. Bellarat Jail was a good time. Now here's the real question. If this is a dragon, I want to know how they changed the move set because I devoured the dra- I mean, after going to university and learning how to kill Madeir without any issue from Dark Souls 3, dragons just don't impress me anymore. So this dragon better have something special up its sleeve or it's just going to be another set of clap cheeks. So who are you, dragon, that they were apparently, like, feeding some of the prisoners to? I guess they didn't have enough pots to shove them all in. Excuse me, I'm here to do battle. Wake up, please. You're not fooling anybody. I know you're not a mass of dead, rotted, twisted wood. That's in my pants. Wink. There you are. Ghost, oh, it's ghost flame. Oh, this is gonna suck so hard. This is gonna suck so hard. Pretty awesome, though. Oh, look at that explosion. Holy shit. Do all of your attacks do Ghost Flame? Because that would really, really burn my ass. Oh, fuck. Oh! He's like half bird, half dragon. That's really cool. He's fast, too. He's fast. Jesus! That is the most dangerous attack he has. Holy mother of God. He attacks. He attacks like the ghost right birds. All right, time to get on the horse. The ghost flame dragon, oh shit. I've got an idea. That was not the idea. This is the idea. All right, they they did they did upgrade the dragon move set. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Ain't nobody like the spectral lance, baby. We gonna we gonna we gonna. Oh no 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 no! I didn't mean to do that. Oh fuck! Run! That's gonna be a massive explosion of hell and pain. Just like the death right birds. Woohoo! I am so weak! No, I didn't mean to drink! Oh, oh the pain! Take the shield out, damn you! Interesting. Oh, I, I really thought I dodged that. Okay. All right. Finally, a boss beat me. The Ghost Flame Dragon. That's that's fun. Killing the shit out of that. Yes, sir. Getting our runes and killing the shit out of that. And yeah, I, I think I'm going to use the Spectral Lance on it. And I'm gonna get extra souls, cause I want the extra souls. Oh, he's up and moving now, is he? Alright, then we're gonna preempt that with this. 
Oh, now, now he's all swiveling around. Da -da 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 -da. Be cool, baby. Be cool, baby. Damn. Oh, I stopped too short. Yeah. Yo, its eyes are filled with maggots? Oh, that's gnarly. Okay, that time I got it. Felt like the same dodge as last time, but I... Oh, no, 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 not the flame! Not the flame stop! Feel my partisan. Come, dragon, take part in my battle. That moves the same. Get a little greedy. Whoa! Butterfingers! Those gnarly ass maggot eyes! <laughs> Spectral land, so peace fuck! Woohoo! Big wing swing! Wait! 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 Oh, I don't know how we survived. We may never know. You got a follow up? No? Okay. Ooh! A very rare miraculous miss! Ah, I can't time that second one. That was dumb. Oh! Alright! We weren't punished. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, we're dead. We are miraculously still alive. Oh, this might be it. Okay, all right. I need to get a little space. Yo! That was the perfect time to get a little space. Swing! Hmm, I'm not timing that one correctly. The second one comes out just a little bit faster than the first. It comes out just a hair faster. Risky. Risky. Yeah! 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 Could be a dragon. Yeah! Balls, Ghost Flame Dragon. Balls! I did. 156 large. A dragon art. A somber ancient dragon smith in stone. Okay. And a bucket full of souls. Cool, cool, cool. GG, Ghost Flame Dragon. Uh, okay. So was that just a dragon fight? Yes. But it had new attacks in Ghost Flame, so I'm for it. Uh, not many more places to go except... The bridge or the gate? 
All signs seem to be pointing to the gate here. Eventually, I mean, of course, we're gonna go everywhere. Oh, there's another map marker. So this area right here already is pretty much as big as Limgrave, so I... I cannot begin to imagine how big this DLC is. Mm, 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 mm. What y'all doing in my fields? Didn't you just see? I'm the guy that slayed the ghost dragon, you hear? You heard? Get out of here. So, yeah, the gate is over there. What's this little piece of land lead to? Uh, quick audio check here. Is my party not getting poppy? No, actually, all the sound sounds great. Why do the old games pop? Okay. Not gonna worry about the party. Okay, yeah, so Bellerit Jail was right there, and then I went to the swamp, which leads us around. Hey, you birds want to give me some foul feet? Come on, I deserve foul feet. I've been really good and killed a whole bunch of bosses. Shadow Realm Room 1. I'm really hoping that uh, the last boss is uh, Yugi Moto, Lord of the Shadow Realm. I really hope that he summons the Dark Magician. Alright, I think we're done over here. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've basically gotten everything on this side. Let's head through the big gate. I want to see what this castle's about. See if we're denied entry, or if we get a little more direction. Oh, do gem. Hold, please. Succulent plant that is supped on night-tinged dew. Glows at night and blossoms mainly at the waterside. Said to have been used in the practice of sprite medicine long ago. Medicine? And nobody makes medicine in this place. We make death. We make poisons. We make tinctures. I mean, how awful is this place really? Like, Mesmer burned it. Oh, there's still a bunch of goats running around. Nature's healing. We got that grace? Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to the gate. Oh, I'm, oh, this is embarrassing. So the dogs were feasting. Oh, we got a little camp. How wonderful. Ashivore Savage Lion's Claw. The fuck you mean, Savage Lion's Claw? Upgrades? <laughs> we gonna get Savage Seppuku? Gonna get Savage Rivers of Blood? <laughs> I we're gonna find that sword. That sword that that demi-human was using, we got his spirit ashes, but we are going to fight. Maybe we have to fight the master swordsman. Maybe yeah, people have been speculating that the guy you see with like the gold rune, like through his body, he like pulls that out of his head. They're speculating that he's the same guy in the picture, I think, with Melania. So they're speculating. Did I mention they're speculating that he was her master and he was a sword master? I wonder if he was also the Demi-Human's master, and if he knows something about the Path of the Stars or whatever. The Star Procession.
Yeah, sorry, I didn't I didn't look at the Ash War. Savage Lion's Claw. I probably passed it three times. Yeah, no, these are these are ashes of war. Come on, let's use our eyes. No, that's vacuum slice. Am I... Am I the big dumb? I'm pretty big dumb, but... Alright, one more time. Oh, b fucking right here. It's got a follow-up? Savage Lion Claw. Skill of the particularly brave, even among the red mains. Somersault forward, striking foes with armament, and additional strike may be performed with an additional input. Usable on swords, axes, hammers. Okay, so it's the exact same. It just lets you go swoosh, slam, swoosh, slam. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Lion's Claw is one of the crowd's favorite Ashes of War, along with Giant's Hunt and uh, what was the other one? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. These guys still standing around. You guys have anything to say now that I've uh, killed the Ghost Flame Dragon? Have, have I gained some sort of respect? In battle. You can be sure I'll hold my in battle. So she so she's got what looks like a horned helmet now. So whatever the 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 horned have to do with this. Pretty cool armor that oh my oh actually. Oh my god. I have always wanted to make Achilles in this game. Achilles from Smite. And uh I've always the the Erd Tree uh Guardian Great Shield has always been amazing. And I've always found a really good spear, but I've never been too happy with the armor choice. But this looks exactly like his armor from Smite. It looks like his golden plated armor. If I can take the cape off, and even those leggings, like look at that. That's very, uh, that's very Greek Roman. Those look exactly like his, sa holy shit. I might have a whole new character, guys. I might have a whole new character to start. Red main, like red, as in Radagon red. Yes. Uh, the Red Mains developed the Lion Claw skill, and also, this woman here, Freya, she used to fight for General Radon. Why she chose to follow Mikula now, we'll never know. This man, I believe, is from this land. I think, cause like, I, I think he actually, yeah, look, he's got, does he have claws? No, no, I was, no. But he, uh, he says that I'll never forgive your people. Basically, I think he's from the Land of Shadow, and I mean, if my people genocided somebody else's people, I'd kind of understand it if they had a little animosity towards me. What do you guys think? Sh should I use my blessings? Should I get stronger, or should I continue to... Should I continue to take the handicaps? I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna continue to take the handicaps until I find a boss that I'm like, holy shit, this is actually really getting frustrating. Then we'll start clapping some cheeks. Yo, these- these gates are massive. Who wouldn't fight for Mikola? This guy! This guy right here, who's death afraid of compelled affection. Alright, maybe not death afraid. Uh, death suspicious. About compelled affection. Y'all can just leave your shinies on the ground. I'll pick them up. Yes, Elden Lord. Elden Lord coming through. Yes, the Lord of the Eldens. Wow. You know, one of my favorite areas in the original Elden Ring was uh, Stormvale Castle. I think it was for a lot of people. Just great architecture, great design, breathtaking, cool map layout. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get another one of those. I'm thinking we're going to go through a pretty awesome castle. You got to have a castle, right? I mean, you got to have a castle. A big, beautiful castle filled with monstrosities and abominations and eldritch harbors from beyond the stars. Yeah, I just came from there. I think that's we def we definitely got that, right? It, it's it's right there and I was I was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going to assume that we got that. Let's climb these stairs and be told how pitiful we are. I want to be talked down to. I want people to underestimate me. 
You know what is funny? You actually could believe that I was here to follow Mikola, considering that I'm carrying his great shield. <laughs> So, yeah, it's like, ah, you, are ye following kindly Mikola, a friend to the cause? Me, having murdered all of his knights, his sister, spit on his city, pissed on his tree, holding a pilfered great shield. Yep, that's me. Mikola, 2024, yes, sir. If you guys don't want to be killed, then don't be just standing there on the stairs. Or at least, like... Have the decency to not try and attack me as I pass you. A little humility, please. I'm the Elden Lord. I'm the one that doesn't have to be humble. You do. God, I love the... Oh, oh, that... Is that a cliffside path? Is that a glorious cliffside path leading to a copse of trees? And a distraction from where I was going? Oh, I think it is! I'm having so much fun with this. Gurgi! Yeah, I, how long have I been streaming? I, I don't have the time on my thing. Almost three hours. Let's keep going! It's gonna be a long one. I mean, I said I was basically gonna do nothing with this. Yeah, up an Elden Ring! I got sandwich and you said you were good. What's your idea? Let me know. It's six o'clock now. I could easily stream another hour or two. Okay. I mean, I could stop the stream, we could go eat, and then I could just start streaming again. Right before the suspense and all that jazz. Break for dinner, maybe? Hmm. All right, let me, let me, let me go down this distracting path leading to this beautiful copse of trees, and I'll make a decision in 10 to 20 business hours. Ow! Wait, is there another dog I hear clomping around in there? The shadow dogs are hard to see, but I guess that's the point. Go ahead, bite the shield. Go ahead. Go ahead, give it a little nip. There you go. It is hilarious to me that there, there is no level when it comes to great shields. Oh yeah, and now we're done the same time frame. That is true. Yep, yes we are. We are now back in the same time zone. Oh, more crying. Everybody's crying. Why are you crying? I'm your glorious Elden Lord. Shed tears of joy. I'm here to reunite us all. In glorious death. Ugh. It was, it was the, I'll be honest, it was the first thing I thought when they're like, you know, there's going to be characters that are super high level, so we're, we're trying to implement this system to make it feel like, like early game difficulty and that you're building towards something. And I'm like, that's great, FromSoft. What are you going to do about my Great Shield? Your what? The impenetrable Great Shield that nothing can get through. It stops all damage. Everything bounces off of it like bouncy balls against a, an, an Abrams tank. Well, what, what are you going to do to make me feel less powerful with my Great Shield? And they're like, okay, so anyway, we got this system for normal players. Didn't expect detour. I think you meant didn't expect distraction. Because there's that beautiful shining palace with its glowing doors and its spires and... The, nope, no thank you. Distracting rocky crag off to the left here. Haven't seen any harpies yet. I'm... I'm... Wait a minute. Oh, right as I said it. Uh, are these more just like bats though? They kind of look like cross between. But... Okay, no, these are just bats, I think. Oh wait, that's a crab attack. No, oh, no, they got to squeal for their grab attacks. Never mind. Next! Line them up. Line them up. Knock them down. Okay, fine. Just sit there then. Your other two brothers had the decency to try to attack me. Let there be beautiful. Yep. Applauding that one. That, okay, that is blowing my mind. 
Like, is, is that this area is like Fair Missoula? Are we going to get teleported into the floating castles in the sky? Oh, just such beauty. Ushing with beauty. Ushing with anticipation. Gushing with more please daddy yes hurt me. Did I say that last one out loud? Because I meant to say it out loud. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting I've got Torrent. I, I, I'm not going to lie, I do like to foot travel. I, I like to just romp around in my armor. Well, come on, Torrent. Oh, God, okay. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to climb that. No, definitely not. Oh, okay. We got a shrouded tower on the hill here. Is everyone draping black cloth over their buildings so that Mesmer thinks he, like, burnt it down? Like, is Mesmer partially blind? Is he just looking around like, did I burn that? Yeah, yeah, that, that looks charred. You know what? I'm not even gonna give him, I'm not even gonna give him the dignity of trying to attack me. Turning y'all into bat kebabs. Kebats. Seriously, Spectral Ants is like, I think ridiculously underrated. It costs nothing, it does insane poise damage, it does pretty damn good normal damage, it's tracking is insane, it hits weak spot heads, like, what more could you ask for? One streamer I watched was thirsty for Radagon and screamed, forge me harder, Elton Daddy. <laughs> That's a good one. Also, cross promotion! Nah, I'm kidding. There are no streamers other than me, I am the only one in existence, I am your god. Oh, okay. We're getting to the fat things now. I wanted to do battle with the fat things. Because fat things always think they're big and strong, and it's like, oh, yes, yes, here's where the rolling pays off. You roll or you take health damage, and it's like, nah, shield. Same, same as little shield. Little guy, shield. Fast guy, shield. Grab attack, shield. I'm going to rest. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to get any talks with, uh, I always get her name wrong. Melina? Melina, uh, basically uh, the waifu for this game that gives you upgrading and gave you torrent. I, I, seeing as this is not supposed to be tied to the main story at all, it shouldn't affect anything with Malakath. It shouldn't affect anything with Radagon or Marica, Marica in terms of like, like it's only going to give us lore and new things, I think. What are you doing hiding in the weeds? Oh, it's the uh, jackrabbit, squirrel, chipmunk things. Where am I? Okay, we're on this outcropping. Goody, goody distractions. Those look mean. So these are like the omens of this world. That's what they look like. I wonder if we're going to go up to that rocky crag in some way. There is a tower up there. Ah, that's the glowworms. Okay, that was the glowworm area. Let's head back to this corner and find our first fat. After I uh, obliterate his pet dog. Oh, oh, yeller! Wait, that's not a shadow dog. That's an actual dog. Got any status? Bleed dog, okay. And you! Alright, that's a respectable amount of stamina damage. Look at that gut! I, I would be so intimidated by that combo if I didn't not feel any of it. Oh man, it sucks to be you and to think that you're the top dog. Did that guy swallow a grape jar? That 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 was that was that was a fat fat man, and I have seen some fat men in my day. Sucks though, since she gives you torrent, and the sneak peeks had Mikola riding torrent too. Moog is optional, so I assume all of this is off the beaten path. Yeah, I mean, all of this is optional and doesn't affect the main plot of the game, so it can't affect. It can't affect Melina 
how she burns herself or how we burn ourselves for the flame of frenzy and she gets mad. But we can learn new things about Melina. We can maybe see, maybe Melina came to the realm of shadows once upon a time. Oh, oh, that, that's it. That's a whole thing up there. That, uh, that is a whole thing. All right, I'm down. We're in the realm of the pot bellies. <laughs> Get it? Because the pots? Also, spectral lance. Spectral lance. Spectral lance. Spectral lance. You ruined the spectral lance, dog! <laughs> spectral lance. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. It's just, I'm gonna kill you way over here and never even give you the time of day. Ooh, okay, we're getting rainy. I like rain. And what's this grace called? The Cliff Road Terminus. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Spectral Lance, Spectral Lance. Oh, your poise broken. You're, you're the size of a mountain and yet two witty bitty spears to the face breaks you. This is gonna be so much fun as my mage. Because <laughs> it doesn't really seem like my damage is nerfed that hard. Like, I'm still able to kill things. And my intelligence with Papa Whispers is 99. Oh, fun fact, when I do get back to playing with Papa Whispers, uh, we've got 60 million runes I need to spend. Or maybe it was 50 million, 60 levels, something like that. I want to stab that guy over there. First person to use a bow and arrow. I want to stab him, but I don't want to walk over to him. All right, let me give you, let me give you the courtesy of actually fighting you. Just kidding, get fucked. <laughs> The Shard of Alexander makes Shield Crash disgustingly powerful. So, big thing on the hill is gonna be the last thing we do. Let's ride around and see if we can find some of the outcroppings. It, it, it looks like that, that structure on the hill is like fading away. It looks like watery ink. It's so cool. Uh, still wonder what that's about. Hopefully we'll get an answer about the great bleeding tree. That's where I just came from. That's that up there. Maybe this is a little outcropping graveyard. Oh, yep, little out. Oh, are we gonna get skeletons now? Pot bro! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Scar tree fragment, silver horn, red fruit mushroom. All right. Strong dog. Okay, all right. The world's slowest bullet hell is a little annoying. Of a bitch! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's how you want to play it? That's how y'all want to play? Y'all want to be clowning? Remember the boulder going a little farther. Try my bullet hell. It's called boulder hell. Try night, then necessary item. Ah, oh, okay. So it looks like just like with the Night Riders and the Death Rite Birds, there's gonna be some specific conditions to unlock stuff. I think. If that message is to be believed, then isn't just a load of hooey. Ghost Glavort 4. What's this? What's this? Dark and dismal. Ow! Where the hell did you come from? You like boulders, Bigums? Oh, there's two of them. 
Oh, hello. Can I get your club? I feel like I can get your wooden club. Whoa! Nice! All right, we did the outcropping. Uh, Prospect Town. I'm gonna head over to the left first, then we're gonna go down into the pit, and then we'll look at Prospect Town. Yeah, because I saw a few things over here. Turts! Hello, Turts! Revered Spirit Ash. I keep thinking the gravestones are shinies because they, they have just that little bit of tinge. Is this the beautiful copse of trees I was looking at before? You're not an enemy. Yeah, maybe get a metal club instead of that wooden one. How about it? Dink! Hello, potential friend. I can talk to you. You are a centipede person. Forager's Brood Cookbook 2. Black Pyrefly. Fucking what? A record of crafting techniques left by the non-human forger brood shared out of kindness towards Moore and his kin. Acquire the knowledge to craft a fireproof pickled liver. Maybe I'll come back and kill that thing eventually, but for now, I'm going to leave it alone. You look gigantic. Oh, we found the mother goat. We found the mama deer. All right, so that copes over there has got... A good amount of stuff. Town here has got a good amount of stuff. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that leads down into there. Let's go to the town. I'm going to... Let's get those shinies. <laughs> I'm going to go into the town, and I am going to finish there just so uh, Chelsea and I can go get something to eat. And then I'm going to come back and probably stream for another couple of hours. I might do a little Dark Tide. Uh, I haven't played that game in a few days. And I've got a broken Bump Whack Zealot build that is just all the rage right now. Hey, you've got like a little spear thing. That's, that's so cute. Go die. Great arrows. Okay. All right, yeah, so let's do the town. I'll come back to the copse, and then we'll go investigate that castle. Larval tier? That's, that, that's exactly what I... That's exactly what I already have, right? They're for rebirth, right? Oh, wait, I think they're listed in key items. No! No, it, it's, it's, it's different. An exceptionally rare creature that burgeons from spirit graves and lives only a fleeting existence. Neither flesh nor spirit, but something in between. Material required by the amber egg cradle Ranala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew. Being born... Okay, so it's, it's just a different look? Interesting. I wonder if there's anything special about that. Oops. 
All right, let's go take a look at Prospect Town and see what all the hullabaloo about is. Uh, is it nighttime? It is. Let me head back to that gravesite and uh, see if something has spawned there now. Sanguine Amaryllis. Oh god, it's gonna be so much fun coming back here with my blood character too, Saint Lacerate. Oh. Because no matter how underleveled you are, bleed is bleed. <laughs> so goodbye health. A blood flower with meaty petals, grown by blood fiends in pools of blood. Perhaps even the fiends admire blood's booty. Is that what you are? Blood's booty. Are you a blood fiend? You just seem like fat. Take care. Thanks for the meaty petals. Oh, that's another Wicker Man down there. Gotta head out. Thanks for the goddamn stream, brother. Yeah, Monk, thanks for being here. I'm gonna be back on in a bit. I don't know if uh, you need to sleep or if you'll be back later tonight, but maybe I'll catch you then. Thank you so much for the goddamn hype train and the five gifted subs and everything else you do for me. Take care, my friend. We're gonna head to this town and then uh, we're gonna take a break. Okay, so the goal, the glowing, like, greenish tinge stones might have that tumbleweed thing we can break for larval tears. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Let's pass by the town. Oh, we also have to go into the, uh, gotta go down the, down into this little chasm here. Man, you guys really do not have, like, the most attentive uh, senses. Yeah. Is there nothing down here? Mm. Uh, more sanguine amarillas. I don't think I missed anything. All right, I want to see what this nighttime grave business is about. How do I keep missing these guys? Oh, they do have blood incantations. And I missed point blank with my hammer. Very good. Best child. Oh, I got the shield up. I got the shield up. God, the single guard break of the uh, of the hammer is just. Ugh. Hmm, maybe even a beach down there. And there was also that area that we had to we had to do a gesture in the jail, so we're gonna have to go back for that too. Spirit stone, something nasty gonna spawn in. Try night, the necessary item. Mm. Undead ahead, therefore try lightning. So it sounds like there is something here, and even though it is nighttime, maybe I need to rest at a grace to proc it, or maybe something else to unlock it. All right, I will revisit that later. All right, hello, Prospect Town. What do you got as a uh, as a just and honorable tithe for your Elden Lord?
precious item ahead. Cool. Is it the meaty flower? Be wary of right. Uh, yeah, obviously, I'm gonna get ganked. Like, that's the whole point of the game. Have you even been paying attention? Hi! You still got a hit. I mean, I'd say respect, but I have very, 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 very none at all. Give me one of that. Give me one of these. Oh no, your stance broken and all my health. Thank you. Oh, by gesture, was it cliff in front of a large bowl type thing? Uh, it was a circle on the ground, like a blue circle with what looked like, like, swirls, like patterns on it. So I'm not sure, Gergen. These things we're gonna find out as we go. Oh my god. Let's just put it in front of every fucking door, people. Every single door. You don't have the right. I'm sure it's gonna be a gas. Everyone's gonna laugh and love your message. Ruins ahead? Okay. Mm That's a lot of fat, guys. That is a lot of fat. There's fat, and then there's yo, a lot of fat. Seeing as I can stance break them immediately, though. Are they eating each other? Okay, he's got like a ritual spear. Oh, he's thrusting it up like Moog's spear. Interesting. Okay, so maybe they're feasting on each other's blood? They're just having themselves a little barbecue. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What do you got for me? Somber smithing for. Not bad. Something tells me I want to kill you first. I don't know if you can buff your friends, but like, no. Oh, that one gave a nice big old scream. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's raising the spear. Oh, shit, yep. Yep, he can do mog shit. Whoa! Whoa, okay, that's got range. Is it wherever, is it? Oh, yup, 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 okay. Good to know. Hi. Blood Fiend's arm. Cool. Sanguine Amaryllis. Okay, never mind. I was in an underground place with a message that you had to gesture, but it was wrong, so I wanted to make sure you also weren't misled. No, like, I always expect a few messages to be misleading, but there were some in areas and it's, like, gesture required, and I'm like, well, that actually is a mechanic in Elden Ring, so there's a good chance that will be here somewhere, too. Uh, okay, treasure chest. Do a quick little run around. Try jumping. No. Yeah, like I'm I'm so excited to go through this DLC with with Saint Lacerate, Papa Whispers, Gilman. Like I, I'm I'm gonna love the different uh, the different playstyles. It's, it's, it's so much fun. 
That's where I came out of, right? Wasn't it with the stairs? Yep. Wait, you don't have the spears, do you? Because I'm not ready for that. Whoa, look at that poise. God damn. Stop screaming. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I turned. Whoops. These guys actually have some pretty scary attacks if I were to let them attack. Oh, that's a grab. Oh, shit, that jump attack is technically a grab attack. Good to know. Scurry. Very scurry. Uh, y'all got buck teeth, too. Y'all y'all just rolled a critical fail. Y'all rolled a nat one on living. Speaking of, after playing this for, you know, days and weeks, Baldur's Gate will return. Baldur's Gate will return. All right, let's uh, check this in my here treasure on my chest. -em. And the outer god heirloom. Oh dear. Are they making bleed builds worse? Oh cool, raises arcane. Talisman engraved with the lore of an outer god. The clan who lost everything in the great fires peered upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity, and saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. Raises arcane. Okay. Yeah, all right. And then uh, the last thing here is this weapon we found. The blood fiend's arm. It is a colossal weapon. It requires arcane. Weapon used by blood fiends, an arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin and wielded as a makeshift weapon. Having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament's capable of spraying blood stored within when executing a strong attack. Yikes! Yeah, it seems like it's acting like a colossal horn. Cool! Alright. So they're not using wooden clubs. They're they're all using arms. Okay. That's an interesting attack. I guess that causes blood loss buildup. All right. Okay. Well, I I could I could keep going for hours, guys. But I'm gonna cut the stream here just so I can go get my wife fed. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Shout out to everyone. Thank you for the raids, the subs, the this, the that. Uh, thank you for Kotek and Woodsy for following, Alex is Ryan, um, for the hype train from Monk. Uh, just thank, thank you all so much. My name is Master Fong, and I absolutely will be back within an hour or two maybe to, to keep going with this, because I've got nothing to do but play Elden Ring. Thanks, Kurgan. I, uh, I really hope to see you guys soon and, and everybody else. I've got so much traveling to do and people to say. That's what's going to keep me grounded. Um, I'll see you guys later tonight, or, you know, if you're watching this in the future, in the next stream. Ta-ta!